Hi, everyone. And hello. Uh, we decided we had some stuff coming in and we wanted to do an unboxing. I was just going to film it, but it is pretty fun when I get a chance to chat with you guys live. So as you guys are hopping in, Alexander is going to moderate. A chance to chat with you guys. Oh, live, but you need to. I got to turn the volume as down. As you guys are hopping in, Alexander is going to. Now I know what I sound go. like. That's, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm moderating. That's yeah. my job. To, I have a job and it's to try and answer questions questions and do and things. let me know the comments and stuff uh and but, watch what this amazing stuff is yeah that's right so the first one actually came today and it's from somebody that we know this is from Zenobia for those of you that might not be familiar with who Zenobia is um on the Curiosity Inc channel she helped us with helping Hans with um his house we went and, shopping together with yeah. Hans and uh she was the lady who was uh saying like well here I think you need to go get a new garbage can and do you have a plunger so she was looking after Hans yeah uh they've become friends and uh she dropped off a little box at the store for us so Zenobia if you're watching thank, thank you, you so much and we're gonna look at it here she made some are these sugar cookies butter cookies they look like sugar oh cookies. they're so they, this smells good and butter tarts I'm not sure if you guys I guess I didn't know this this might not be true that's like most of the stuff I know. <laughs> but apparently butter tarts are a Canadian thing, right? Is um, that what you said you saw? Like it's mostly in Yeah, Canada? I think butter tarts are mainly in Canada. Oh, by the way, everybody's noticing something different about your hair. Oh. You gotta flick it around. Flick. So yesterday, uh, my, uh, I keep calling her my sister-in-law, my friend Nikki, she came to drop off uh, my niece and nephew, and I guess yours too. <laughs> <laughs> and she stayed and she said, so when are we cutting your hair? I'm like, what? So it's so nice. And I don't have like a bunch of, I mean, it was so bad. You I guys. got sneaky and I phoned up my sister-in-law who was a hairstylist for many years. And I convinced her, but I feel, feel a little bit bad about it because yeah, anytime you go to a hairstylist, it's one of the things I tell them like, boy, you cut hair. I bet every family member, you know, must ask you to cut their hair. And that's usually how it works if you're a hairstylist. Yeah. Every family, so I did that. I offered to pay. She refused to take my money. She was like, your money's no good to me. She didn't say that, but it was like <laughs> that. She almost said that. But anyway, as a result, Melissa got a surprise haircut last night. Yeah, I was not expecting it at all. And Nikki is one of the few people I trust to cut my hair. She does a really good job. And if there was ever something that I didn't like, she would just be like, oh, sure, we'll fix that. So lucky for me. Dakota's on. Hey, Dakota. I was talking about your Madness Mondays today to, the, to these guys. So the first box that we're going to be opening, we have another box that we're going to be opening once Heather comes from Denmark. These two are from the Wait, States. Heather's not coming from Denmark. No, Heather's, Heather's not coming, coming from, from Colorado. The package came from Denmark. We don't know where she is right now, though. Maybe. We don't know where she's going. She's going to come back with some wooden shoes and stuff. I opened this side of the box already because I didn't want to accidentally, you know, cut my finger on camera. You guys have seen me with a knife. It's not pretty. So this one was from... Carol, Carol Southern, and I believe that Carol was the one that asked me if we got the package. We did. We got it. Oh, I peeled off that. I thought, did I just flash the email address? But, okay. Somebody says Steven needs to get the front of his hair cut. Trust me, I've tried. That boy is obsessed with that floppy mop in front of his head. It's like his signature look, I guess. I, I think it's kind of like that, um, was it Davy Jones from the Monkees had like the the beanie and the hair and the thing anyway. It's his flop. It's his floppy mop and anyway. Inside there's a card. Ooh. Hey, nice wrapping paper by the way. Yeah, look at it and it kind of matches. So. Did you know which it's one you'd like? To... Were you pining for that one when you found oh, it? Oh, I hope I didn't show the... That you just missed a pine joke just then. I didn't miss it. No. Oh, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this off camera. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Kat. I, I almost said Catherine. Carol says Southern. My brain automatically tried to put them together. Okay, while well, you're... Do you uh, want to... I'm just going to read it and kind of get the gist of it. Okay. She said she's and from... Chewy. She's from northern Minnesota, about 90 miles south of the Canadian border. We, for people that are in northern Minnesota or in Montana near the border, you're used to Canadians coming down there because oftentimes we'll go down there and just buy things and come back home again. Because <laughs> sure. with the, sometimes your stuff is cheaper than our stuff. Sometimes. Almost always. <laughs> Except the exchange really bad right now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh. I, I peeked in the end. That's pretty sick of me. Sorry, you guys. I'm not a careful ripper. It's like my... It's Chicagoopoly. 
I've never even seen this one yet. Oh, she moved from uh, Minnesota to Chicago. Ah. And she likes the diversity of a big city. And um, so she thought that, uh, I, I know you've played this game before, but maybe not this version. We haven't played this version. No. That's pretty cool. Chicagoopoly. It has, for the little pieces. Ooh, I had to move my head. She almost took out an eyeball right there. <laughs> I was almost skewered. <laughs> the Picasso, the cloud bean, or cloud gate, the bean, the cloud bean. Ball glove, a sailboat, Art Institute lion, and a football. I wonder if there's people who just collect the little things out of Monopoly games. That would be me. I mean, if if that was like if somebody did that, it would be me for sure. Uh, this Chicago girl loves Chicago Opoly. It looks like fun. Uh. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another box. Oh yeah. Okay, Abigail, let's get that. It's what you're resting on. So this one is from Kathy Keeney. And she is from, is KS Kansas? Yeah. Okay, I took her address off too. Um, and incidentally, these... Okay, there we go. Are we okay. back? We might be back. Okay, we were buffering, sorry guys. Um, yeah, anyhow, I was just basically saying we're very grateful for um, you guys taking the time out of your day. I know that somebody had to go yeah. down and pack this up in a box and carefully put things inside that they thought would be fun for us or and uh, i really appreciate that that's very special so but even for everybody we appreciate your comments we appreciate seeing you here with us and hanging out with us even on the videos so uh your hair is lighting up the internet Thanks. yes <laughs> i don't i haven't i can't read the comments on the phone because i'm yeah. blind oh it's pretty much just a whole bunch of people saying love your hair thanks yeah <laughs> I didn't even do anything, but I did brush it. <laughs> That's thanks to Nikki. Nikki did it. They've probably never seen you with a different hairstyle. You've had the same oh, other hairstyle. Oh, that's true. For the, for the whole time. time this that is I've the been first. On this is the debut. I'm like the least picky person when it comes to hair, too. This is a full box. Oh, you guys can see. It's like, it's like really full. We got to tilt it towards the camera. Okay. All right. I'll let you guys see. I won't just. Was there a letter that came with it too? I'm not there yet. I can see it sticking out of the book. Okay, do you want me to read the letter while you unpack? So there was the book, The Ship's Cat. Well, we'll wait. No, no. That's a, that's a, a cat. <laughs> that's not a noise I randomly make when I open a book. Um, okay, Alex, Melissa, and Minimi. Um, have a wonderful season. Uh, this box has a lot of cool stuff. I've been collecting a lot, including uh, products and items, very large amount of bears and friends. I hope you will uh, know most of these items. Uh, they said that there's some from uh, Kodak. Uh, I mentioned lemon curds. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, so very, very nice of you to send this in. Oh, she gave me a recipe for uh, what to do with the lemon curd. I still have that lemon curd. Oh so. yeah, Cool Whip and lemon curd. Mm. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Oh, uh, there's... oh, there's a whole, yeah, there's a whole recipe here for uh, pumpkin jelly and stuff. Okay, so we're pumpkin gonna go fluff. through pumpkin fluff. There we go. Mm. Okay, we are gonna read through this. Okay, first first thing on the top. And this is from Kathy. Oh, yeah, I think I started with. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. There is a, like a, a big coaster, like you can put. Like a hot plate? Yeah, hot plate. Yeah, very seasonal and festive and winter. Yeah, that's super nice. I have an exact spot for that already. This is really like every, every little nook there's a thing. There's a little shot glass with Mickey Mouse. What was that from? Fantasia or? Uh, yeah, that's Mickey Mouse Fantasia. You know, it's odd. Let's hope that that's not a shot glass from Fantasia. It's small like a shot glass. I guess there's adults. Oh, yeah, here's like this, another but... Walt Disney one because it's for kids. Yeah. This probably was a candle holder, I'm guessing. You know what I got at the store the other day? What it was that? an ashtray from Disneyland. And it was from like when they first opened Disneyland in the 50s. And I thought, well, that's funny. You wouldn't really normally market, you wouldn't see Disney marketing like smoking to children nowadays. No, but hopefully. It was I mean, like the Magic Kingdom castle with on That's a whole other conversation. There's a Tigger tie. When I first opened the box, that was what I, I did peek. I saw, I said, oh man, I saw a Tigger. Could have been worse, could have been covered in poo. Ah, <laughs> uh, Winnie the Pooh that is. <laughs> Oh, here's, oh, this one's covered in poo. This is cool too. Oh, That's them just peeking out. It's paisley. Yeah, but look, they're peeking out. I like that it's very and subtle. Piglet. You can almost go to a meeting with that on and they would have no idea that I you're I think being... you should go to a meeting with that on. There's like a whole, all the stuffed animals, all the little eyes are looking at me. The little reindeer with little bells. 
Abigail's and Jamie are off camera, so they're checking it out. Oh, a little poo bear that has a little zip. It looks like you could put stuff in it. Yeah, a little keychain. Very cool. Uh, okay. Magic snowball. Throw it, it glows. Abigail, I have a feeling you should run. <laughs> can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it, that is cool. It has can one I of those sort of. A, well, okay, you should you take the this, tag off. Before. Abigail, can you turn this light off just for a second so we can see it? Okay. Before we throw it. Just for a second, because then it'll be. Oh, wait, look, it stopped now. The light's off. What do you do? I just. There we go. Hit it a little. It's like a psychedelic snowball. Hey, Abigail, catch. And it came in a crown. So while she's unpacking, it's been a um, pretty busy week. Oh, Yellowstone. Week. Yellowstone Cup. Yeah, it's been a busy week. It has been a... I know I've been off of the vlog, miss, and missing days. There's a reason. I was crazy to think I could pull it off. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Everybody got sick. It, I forgot about how insane it is with school, work, regular life, and everything around Christmas. It's a lot of fun, but it is a lot, a lot going on. So now that everything's settling down and... You know, the nice thing about getting cups from places you've never been. I've never been yet, but would like to go someday. This is one of the sheep from the Sealy's commercial. Oh, like yeah, the, the Serta sheep? Yeah. Oh, is it Serta? Uh, oh, Serta. Oh, yeah, Serta. Serta, yeah. That's the yeah. Uh, Wallace and Gromit. Um, it looks like a Wallace and Gromit sheep. Wait, yeah, I see a, another one. Oh, my goodness. Do sheep count themselves when they need it's to fall asleep? It's number 100. <laughs> Abiel, when you're sleeping tonight, I'll just whip these at you until you fall asleep. Oh, I count had sheep, it. I mean, meh. <laughs> There's some Smurfs in here. That's pretty cute. You know what's funny about this is that when I was younger, I used to collect these, and I had I didn't have any of these ones. Oh, okay. his little what's it called? <laughs> Smurfs? No. Oh, he's got like the little uh, soul patch. Pinky. Yeah. That's a soul patch. Yeah, I was, was gonna say soul patch, and mm. then I thought maybe don't say. I've always felt. Vanity Smurf and. There's only on one Smurfette in like. A crazy Smurfs. Smurfs. I didn't even know there was a crazy Smurf. Well, that one's the Smurf for me. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot in here. Ooh. Holiday chocolate assortment. There's peppermint, eggnog, ah. and milk chocolate. But those are going to be delicious. Thank you so much. This is very thoughtful. Yeah, this... I wasn't expecting... What's left at your house, Kathy? You sent us everything. There is a little M&M guy. And in his back... It's wait. like you... He's a hollowed out little person and you put stuff where his brain would be. A little Guinness shot glass. Where is it from? Oh, it says Guinness on it? Yeah. Cool. And... Hope you guys have all been doing well, by the way, out there in, in TV land. Are you just gonna... I'm gonna pick it up from here, because it's... Okay. Melissa's, Melissa's taking this to the next level. Okay, there's a box in the box. And a, bo a bag with a box in the box in the bag. In the yes. wrapping paper, in the... Is there a little oh, note on the bottom? There's a book or a notepad. A okay. Are you still watching comments too? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, that's nice. They're it's like Christmassy. Yeah. That that would have been scandalous at the time. What you can see her ankle. Okay, so far I've gotten to styrofoam. <laughs> There was a Weird Al video years ago, and the, the kids were sneaking out back reading Ankles Weekly or something. It, was it says, Lefty. I'm unique. <laughs> she has oh, like a left handed mug? Yeah. That's cute. Okay. Hey, hey, it's the guy with the spastic diaphragm. <laughs> That'll be my next license plate. A little tin. Mind you, if I get a license plate that just has spastic on it, because the diaphragm part won't fit, I'll probably get myself in trouble. But no, it was bad. Not hiccuping anymore, though, thankfully. It's just squeezed me, but I think it's been squeezed all out. It's a reindeer duck. You just said squeeze me. So. No! Yeah. There you Not go. me. What is this guy? Uh, oh, I remember him. He was... You guys remember who that guy is? Hold him up. Let's see if somebody knows who's on. I feel like it's from, like, a TV show or commercial or something. Oh, there's uh, two of them. Hold on, there's, there's another one. The yellow, yellow one, too? one too. It's not like the. Okay. It's not like the little people. Not one of those. Mister. What were the ones where there was like the, you know, like Mister Funny and Mrs. Happy? Remember those ones? Yeah. Those yeah. Are the... What are they called? Um. The. It's 
called like Little Miss and Little Miss or something. Little Miss Man. I'm having yeah. like such a Life is short. Have a donut. Oh yeah, maybe those are nerds. Like the candy nerds, nerds. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you uh, to E Nixon who says nerds. I maybe she was just insulting us. <laughs> like thanks. I'm okay. I'm okay with it being a nerd. Do we get you the socks? Is that I'm a nerd, but not the cool kind? No. Were you thinking about it? I what? Well, not in a mean way. I bought her a couple pairs of funny socks. We yeah, sell funny were. little socks at the store. Abigail, do you mind grabbing them for me off of my dresser? They're just on top of my. Are um, you getting your socks? Yeah. <laughs> they still have the package. It's not like they came off my stinky feet. Mm. And then there were some. Are you admitting your feet are stinky? Maybe you should all send her recipes to get rid of her stink smell oh, for her foot. Because no. she said on a video once of mine, she said, Alexander sometimes gets really stinky feet. Well, guess what? He's a hardworking man, for starters. Anyway, but, everybody watching started sending in like home remedies for pro I don't have a problem. <laughs> if you've been in your shoes all day long, probably going to get a little oh, bit of Oh, he's not the one with the problem. I'm the one with the problem. It is so stinky. What, it's a, are you saying that my feet are a problem for you or your yeah, feet are your a problem? your feet are a problem for me. Oh, I knew my it. My feet smell like candy. It's all this double talk. Abigail, can you sh pass me the dog for a second? Here's another thing that oh, happened today. Yeah, speaking of haircuts. Uh, oh, oh. Judy! That's, that's what a Yorkie looks like. When he has no hair. Oh, hi, Heather. Heather! Hide the donut item from Melissa. Love the hair. Oh, Alyssa. Yeah, Chewie got a haircut, too. Yeah. What is he? he doesn't even look like York anymore. What does he look like? I think he looks like a reindeer. <laughs> I think he needs some horns up here on top of his head and he'll look like a little yeah. reindeer. Yeah. He's a little reindeer dog. He's like, he's just hoping there's a snack. Are you going to show your socks? Yeah. So Alexander got, this did not come in the box. This is from Alexander. There's, this girl's got a lot to say. That's accurate. I do. <laughs> yeah. You also play ukulele. True. And you might be a monkey. I might be. Run, it, this one says running the world and stuff. Yeah. We had those at the store and I thought those were good Melissa sock Yep, yeah, I gifts. like those. Those. Sometimes it's got, it's got to bring something home for my lady. So there was another tie with the Tasmanian Devil on it. And then there's some... Oh wait, there's another tie. Somebody's saying you should funny. play the ukulele. I don't think she's got it tuned up though. No, I know like one song. I, I'm guessing hey, all of you can guess. Ooh, really cute. I, I'm guessing... All Please. of you can guess which song I can play. It's like the one song everyone can play. And if you can't, I bet I could teach you in less than five minutes. The great Aussie Barble? Barbie. Does it say Barbie? Yes, oh, yeah, Barbie. barbecue, oh. you know? Put another shrimp on the Barbie, all yeah. that. Yeah. Good old I, barbecue. I say Barble. Yeah. Is that, was that it out of the box? There's one more thing. Okay. This was a full box. This one, I don't even know how to say that one. Oh, it's a good one. Tea. Yeah. Oh, there's a recipe for, hold on, it, it says damper. I thought it said diaper. I knew that couldn't be right. <laughs> when I first met Melissa, her dad in his kitchen, or in the, in, yeah, in the dining room area, they had a, a picture up on the wall that said Roadkill Cafe with a picture of like a squished possum with a tire mark on it or something. Yeah. And it was a recipe on how to eat it. And I was like, well, that's different. That was different decor. And then I looked over at her and the light was sparkling on her and she was stirring a pot of macaroni. I'm like, and she cooks. <laughs> and the Road rest was Road kill and macaroni. That's, yeah. that's what got him, ladies. Road kill. <laughs> oh my goodness. She did not actually serve me roadkill. No. Well, I can only imagine the comments I would get. I'd be like, eh. Mix it up? So. Oh, but I didn't practice. You don't need to practice. Okay. A while back, I mentioned on my channel, just in happenstance and in passing, that Melissa was particularly good at solving a Rubik's Cube. Oh. Jason, can you actually mix it? He okay. mixed it so many times that it re... Here, hand it out. So, so here's the backstory between the Rubik's Cube, or about the Rubik's Cube, is we used to have a toy store at one point, and uh, I was playing with the Rubik's Cube and I ended up memorizing how to do it. But I've seen kids do it in like, Less than a minute. So. Okay, well, this is not, okay, so why don't you do it while I'm talking? Okay. So, okay. But I used to t challenge people that um, if I could do it. Wait, no, I, don't do it yet. And uh, you got to do it on camera, otherwise I, I can't see. <laughs> if I so could do like it in less a, than three minutes, um, then they would have to buy the bigger Lego set because that's how I rolled. And they're like, yeah, you're on. And I, of course, I knew I could, but I told them the truth. I told them, I know for sure I can do it in less than three minutes. 
and uh, okay. So when should they start their timers? Yeah, but what happens if I mess it up and then it's well, like you a just 10 okay, you go. just relax. I'll talk, but you got to keep your hands in front of the camera, otherwise they'll think there's trickery, and then you'll get all the people saying it's, it is trickery. Totally I fixed. memorized how to do it. I okay, no... but well, now you have to prove it. Okay. Okay. So you ready? Set. Go. And go. <laughs> Okay, while she's doing that, I'll take an so opportunity funny. to chat with everybody. Um, yes, Melissa's haircut looks fantastic. They took off probably about six inches or so off Thank the bottom. Uh, enough that we could have made, like, we got hair, Chewie a haircut the other day. We probably could have kept Melissa's hair and given him a wig made out of her hair. Like the Princess Leia bun or something like that for Chewie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't keep the hair, though. Um, we have a really busy weekend coming up. We have uh, niece and nephew visiting today. My mom's coming over tonight. Um, Heather and her family are coming on Monday. And uh, for the majority of that family, they're gonna be seeing Canada for the first time. And just, you know, by luck, it's snowing and it's gonna be a very white Christmas here, even though if they're from Colorado, they've had like um, 13 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's warm anyway. Yeah. Um, well above melting. And uh, so when they come back on the weekend or after the weekend, we're gonna have a chance to see them and show them around town and take them to our crazy big shopping mall and they'll get to see my store. Heather's never seen my new store either. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, um, Redneck Rhyme says, where can I find your mailing address? Gonna send some very special glasses after the new year. Um, okay, uh, our address is, my store name is the same as my YouTube channel. It's Curiosity yeah. Incorporated. So if you look us up on Google, you'll see Curiosity Inc. come up there. Um, the address and phone number and contact and email, everything's on there. So um, if you ever need to, to send something to us or need to reach us, all the information is on there. Um, Chewy was already, somebody said Chewy's gonna freeze. Chewy was already chickening out about going outside as it is and it's not even all that cold out. And he has a winter coat. Yeah, he had his winter coat. Yeah. He wasn't going outside anyway. So um, yeah. I don't know. Wait, you gotta keep it on camera. I thought it was on camera. Okay. I'm concentrating. I gotta see if my. Okay, if you, you concentrate. I'm not gonna distract you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I this... did mess up once already, so I'll see how that turns out. Yeah. I was listening to a um, comedian that was saying, somebody said, The Sound of Silence is a great song. It is, except I was listening to a comedian who said he doesn't like that song. He said anything would be better than The Sound of Silence, including the actual Sound of Silence. He said he would rather listen to nothing. Um, I have not seen the new Star Wars yet. Somebody says no spoilers on the Star Wars movie. I'd like to go see it, but you know, I grew up watching Star Wars. I had tons of Star Wars toys <laughs> as a kid. Oh wait, 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 show them. Oh. And it's done. <laughs> you didn't just want the... I don't know what the time was on that. You were so we'll happy say, with yourself, you just put it we'll right down. We'll say 30 down. seconds. Okay, yeah. I Let's messed up it. in the very beginning. I didn't put the cross on the right side. So whatever, it's done. <laughs> um... So how did I pick the name for the store? Somebody said we were we were thinking of calling it uh, the Curious Cat, mm -hmm. and I had like little drawings of like kind of a, a cat and stuff like that, and then um, thought well people might think that it's a cat store or that we sell pet supplies or something. We liked um, like Mystery Inc. from Scooby Doo, remember? And we didn't we weren't going to say Curiosity Inc. because it reminded us too much of, but then it kind of stuck. Yeah, now I have an ambulance and I go and solve spooky crimes no i don't solve any crimes oh, but i go and find things sometimes they're spooky sometimes they're cool yeah. i've never found a janitor wearing a mask that actually had you know like hidden money from the bank that he stole during the klondike gold rush back in 1807 no have not run into any of those people yet but curiosity inc i just thought it sounded like a fun name and uh it gave us um the ability to carry all sorts of things not just antiques yeah um so if we would have called ourselves like you know alexander's antiques then that's all you yeah. carry. It, it limits it too much. Where if it's just curiosities, you can be curious about anything. So it kind of left us wide open to. Yeah, so we, there's all kinds of new stuff. There's some new interesting items. There's lots of old. Basically, if it's cool, it comes through the door. And yeah. I, I joked before, but I shouldn't be in there then. But um, the products have to be cool anyway. Yeah, but a lot of people go in just to see you. Yeah, a Abigail wants to mix up the Rubik's Cube now. I, oh, I thought it was frozen. We're just not moving much, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Wait, somebody's asking. Uh, oh, there's a... Excuse me. Which show had Curious Goods in it? Curious Goods? Is that what they asked? Yeah, there was a there was a TV show filmed in Canada. There used to be a really interesting uh, TV show for a while based out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And the guy would go around and buy things like Egyptian mummies and things like that. But the show only lasted a couple oh, seasons and then he I passed away. I forgot about that. Yeah, he yeah. passed away suddenly. A very interesting character. Um, and I ran into a guy, actually the guy that owns the evil, Knievel Museum that I went to about a week ago. 
he um, knew that fellow, and he said, yeah, he was a character, but he didn't know he passed away. And I went, oh. yeah, that was like a while ago now. Um, but he had really neat stuff, buying shrunken heads and all the other sorts of things. Well, he wasn't very old. I think that we just assume that everybody gets to live to a ripe old age, but the truth is that that's not true. Oh, I'm ripe. <laughs> yeah, Someday I'll be old. His feet are ripe. My feet are not ripe. Abby, I'll smell Sorry. my foot. No. Smell my foot. No. We she have won't to, like, smell my foot. It's. I have to, we need an unbiased third party opinion. Jamie, smell my foot. foot. <laughs> She's not saying no, which She's is... She's like, oh, I'm so glad I came to visit. <laughs> yeah. The, my, my niece does not want to smell my foot either. Okay, well, you're not to take my she word for no. it that it smells like roses. Roses. The, no, like... no, roses that smell like roses. Maybe once it's passed Maybe. through a, oh, an animal. On. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, pass through processing and now they smell like perfume. But no, no. you went right to animal. <laughs> Are you about the truth or not? This is awful. Oh, Sorry. It's like days before Christmas. How did it hurt? My feelings so bad. You're hurting our noses, but we still love you. Wow. <laughs> she just did that just then. Yeah. Um, We're planning on having, uh, hopefully we can get Heather to come on a video, Heather, because we have another unboxing from uh, Denmark to do. And uh, I think the lady wanted us to share it with uh, everybody coming up. So we ended up waiting till they could come and be a part of it as well. Yeah, we're going to open that one up when Heather's here. Heather, incidentally, is notoriously camera shy and so is my mom. Yeah. And, and yet I've convinced both of them to appear. My mom, Heather appeared and talked on camera. My mom, I just have to usually get her when she's walking by and be like, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> and she'd be like, no. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if I think Heather's up. Heather, you're on right now, so I, I think she was. Yeah, yeah. Alyssa is totally game to being on a video. That's oh, yeah, fine. I think she's Peter doing vlogmas, too. she's actually pulling vlogmas off. So we'll be doing a vlogmas together. I hope, I hope. Yeah. that's the plan. Um, yeah, what's your what's the what food are you most looking forward to at Christmas? Uh, I'm most looking forward to once the meal is all cooked and all done, that moment where you're like, yes. I pulled it off. I don't have to think about this anymore. I just get to enjoy it. I want to, I'm happy for all the food, but I most like that moment where everything's pulled off, everything is being eaten, and you think. Did you just not pick, you just didn't answer the question. Don't you have a one favorite thing? Stuffing? She's a stuffing fan. No, because I'm a mixer. Okay, then your favorite thing is, this is my prediction of Melissa's okay. favorite thing. Um, Let's see if you get it. There will be a little bit of turkey, a little bit of stuffing and I don't some need cranberry the sauce. In there. Okay, stuffing and cranberry sauce. Maybe so a little stuffing, potato. Stuffing with no meat in it. S stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce. Maybe some salad, depending on depending on the dressing that all mixed together. Mm. Why don't I just make you like a milkshake in the blender with all that Ugh, stuff? You could no. drink it with a straw. Gross. It'd be like a brown slurry of Christmas goodness. This is why I'm cooking. <laughs> Should I do it? Should I make a... No. It'll be a Christmas miracle for everyone. If I'll we make... need to have some kind of a dare or something at some point, maybe we can do that. Something that won't make anybody sick, too sick. Uh, <laughs> Christmas milkshake? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we have those little um, cups. Ninjas. We have the ninja cups, the little ones that go in, so... Yeah. Oh, Maybe. there's that. One video, that's it. Oh, oh, Heather's committing to one video. But wait, we could film like a five hour marathon of her just doing everything here and edit it into like a thousand videos. You didn't you just, specify. You just spoiled it. Like when you, you asked her, gonna know. when you ask your kids, did you brush your teeth? And they're like, yeah. And then you're like, when? And they're like, today. I'm like, what time? And they're like, this morning. I'm like, I knew you didn't brush your teeth. Now go to bed. Our kids are turkeys. Yeah. Hey, Abigail. But, true. but not the kind of turkey you have for Christmas dinner. No. Yeah. But you are going to get stuff full of food. We though. actually, uh, during my staff party, we were talking about our family traditions, what we eat, because I think we all kind of figure, I mean, we know that each of us have kind of a different tradition, but we all did eat something different. Like for us, we generally only have one meat. That's it. Like we just have a turkey. We don't have, at home, I used to have like a turkey and a ham, I think. But we just have a turkey. That's it. And I don't really like eating meat. So turkey is more than enough for me. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. But everybody else in, at my work, they all had like uh, a lot of different meats. The meats were like the main event. Yeah. But even our cheese board doesn't have meat on it. Are we having a cheese board? Yeah. I already bought some of it. What? Oh, I'm making things happen. Abigail and I share one thing in common other than the fact that we're genetically related. Her face, she's like, oh, cheese. Abigail and I are fans of cheese. Mm -hmm. Right, Abigail? Like the jokes or? She's, Abigail has gone into like some kind of catatonic state here where she's just like staring blankly at us she's heard that there's cheese because she's got the hiccups and she's got the yeah, i hope you don't have them for five days like that do i need to scare you 
Yeah, I'll scare you. Okay. Her, your feet have already scared you. Oh, she said my feet have scared her. Um, I'm a fan of cheese board. Remember we went to that restaurant once when we were like, before we were married and we decided to order a cheese board and split it together? Oh we, yeah, we thought we'd a get, fancy place. We thought it'd be fancy and get wine and cheese, but then they, the cheese platter they brought out was enough for like 15 people. And then not only that, we asked for it to go and apparently that's not something you do. And I'm like, I just paid how much for the, put it in a box. <laughs> yeah, it was like, cheese, cheese, cheese board, $45. I'm like, well, that seems expensive. And then they brought out like this giant, Huge. like every cheese, like five cows had to be milked to create enough cheese that we, we had on that plate. We couldn't eat it all. And we, I took it home, but I very much was like, oh, what? You want this packed up? $45 worth of cheese, you better believe that's coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of cheese. That probably overdid it on that. Yeah. I, I remember, now, you know, looking back on that. I forgot all about that. Not a healthy choice. No, not a healthy choice. I think I rolled out of there sideways. <laughs> Yeah. And wine. Wasn't maybe not the best choices. I'm gonna be doing because we have had a lot of baking sent to us, we also had um I'm doing a video, of course I am, that shows some of the baking that came in. But Bill, uh, he brought us in some German goods and uh, I put it in the freezer because I thought, hey, look at all this baking. <laughs> I'm gonna serve this on Christmas, so you better believe that's happening. But the kids are gonna help me make some uh, those uh, peppermint cookies that I was talking about before. Mm. Peppermint blossoms. I have a, I do enjoy peppermint or mint flavored things. So. And then um, Heather's mm. going to be bringing a delicious treat to make as well. That may or may not have peppermint involved. Heather's pretty smart though. She pre-ordered all her stuff through the Walmart app or whatever, and so yeah. they're not bringing anything with them. They're just gonna pick it up at the local Walmart. Because when, they when you travel, you all you don't have shampoo, any breakfast stuff, so. They've made it so that they just, as soon as they get in, they just go to the Walmart and pick up their order and then they have shampoo and all their breakfast stuff and anything they're gonna need for the next morning. So that was good, that was thinking. What do we have here that they don't have? Who? Well, first off, if you are, I don't know if it's the same out, outside, we're in Canada, if you didn't know. If you can't yeah. tell from our thick Canadian accents, we are Do you think we have a thick Canadian accent? Well, we're not like. I don't even notice that when we go to the States, they'll notice that I have an accent. But I should notice that they have an accent then, right? But I don't, not at all. Unless it's like a thick Australian accent, I'm not gonna, I'm I, not gonna notice. I think the more rural you go, the more Canadian you sound. Right, like in the- Like at uh, your hometown. PEI. And PEI yeah. and stuff, but- Yeah, but there's only a couple people in my hometown that sound like people think are a Canadian accent. The rest just sound like us. Here's I where I was going with this though. We do Boxing Day in the United States my understanding is there's Black Friday that happens after Thanksgiving. We do it here, but for no particular reason. We've talked about this before. It yeah. doesn't make sense for, for us. Fun. Our Thanksgiving's in October. We're like, yeah. hey, maybe an opportunity to sell stuff cheap, they get on board. Yeah. Um, and you know, Black Friday is supposed to be when you get into the black and your sales start being good and all that stuff. But it has nothing to do with corresponding with Thanksgiving here. Ours is like, yay, an extra sale before Christmas. Um, but what we used to do in Canada when I was a kid, and the Black Friday things really only started in the last six, seven years here. It's, yeah. it's pretty recent. Um, it was always this way. Everything was full priced right up until Christmas. And then the day after Christmas, everything goes on sale. Yeah. And the nice thing about that, I think for the stores, is that they got full margin for their product. And then after Christmas, people who didn't get what they wanted could go and get it for a discounted price. And if your family and you're not seeing a person until after Christmas, you can go buy their Christmas present real cheap and then bring it to them the day after. But there's lots of reasons why it's good. And we're gonna take Alyssa and Peter and Dorian and Heather all to a West Hampton Mall, which is a giant massive shopping mall here and um, and I think our niece and nephew and our She's I imagine Jamie. She's like, if I'm not naming names are probably gonna be with us the whole family's gonna be going but they're gonna have a chance to see what a real Canadian Boxing Day sale is like but it's not you make it sound like this is like a uh, well everything every store is like half price pretty much it's fun to shop the only thing is is that so does everybody in Edmonton thinks it's fun to shop and from everywhere around it is so crowded. You know, the only thing with the mall is that you have the fluorescent lights and then all the people and like that, that panicked feeling and you feel so tired after. So generally, I'm gonna be honest, you can get all those Boxing Day sales online and I feel bad for all the retailers. Sorry, retailers. No, uh, we're gonna go anyway. It'll be <laughs> yeah, an experience, it'll be fun. It'll be different. And, and it, there's always stuff in the store that you can't get that they're blowing out at store level. I get the sense that Alyssa thinks we live in some backcountry, Canadian Arctic tundra yeah. town, probably in, in an igloo. And um, yeah. we're gonna prove to her that there's people that live here and it's a busy happening place. Like I just said happening, that's how not happening I am. I just said <laughs> happening because I'm a square, but that's okay. Um, okay, favorite Christmas movie? 
I don't have a favorite Christmas movie. I do. You don't have a favorite, like one that you prefer to watch over others? I don't like watching Rudolph. Every time I think, oh, we should watch Rudolph, and then that squeaking nose comes out, I'm like, oh, right. And it's actually not very nice, like really. Well, okay. <laughs> no, I don't I, really have a favorite. Well, I guess we can both agree that we are not a fan of the stop motion animated classic film. Did it shut it off? Yeah. No, it says you're live. Yeah, I think we're back again now. Okay, we're back now. Sorry, I had a phone call come through. <laughs> there we go. Um, favorite for me, I was always Christmas Story. You know, Ralphie's going to shoot his eye out with the Red Rider BB gun. And that whole movie, uh, Polar Express is up there now too, though. We, we watch that pretty regularly. I don't mind Elf. You know, watching the Charlie Brown Christmas special now, when I was a kid, it always seemed kind of magical. And you watch it now and you're like, wow, that is a slow-paced cartoon. Yeah. But it's still kind of a favorite. In fact, I got the original 1965 Charlie Brown Christmas book from the place I went to yesterday. They had it sitting there in their basement. And I'm like, well, I'm bringing that one home. So I brought it home. I'm going to read it to Abigail later on. What do you on. think, Abigail? What's your favorite Christmas movie? Here, you can come over here. What you about, gotta, like... You got to show the people your Christmas sweater. Yeah. Come here. Come show the people. I'm. We're, we're going to drag her on camera. Abigail's been sitting here this whole time. Yeah. But look at this. Look at that little Christmas sweater. It has She's, glasses too. Yeah, it has glasses on her sweater. Right. So do you have a favorite Christmas movie? No. No? Not even one that you like to watch more than others? No. Uh, I'm going to pick Abigail's favorite Christmas movie is Aliens vs. Predator. You may go sit. Now I know you have been dubbed forever <laughs> Alien vs. Predator. She probably doesn't know what that is. That's right. That's why it's her favorite now. Or Die Hard. <laughs> See what? <laughs> Do you know that Die Hard is considered a Christmas movie? Yeah. Would you guys consider Die Hard a Christmas movie? It does happen at Christmas. I guess, but yeah, but I think they play it. I used to like watching It's a Wonderful Life, and that movie still stands up to this day. I watched it. They were playing it on the bus when I went to the YouTube convention. I think last I month. like the newer ones, like the I like Elf. I'll pick Elf for mine. Yeah. Um, yes, we make butter tarts here. In fact, um, we have butter tarts sitting in front of us right now uh, yeah. that somebody made. You guys, uh, in Show Canada, we, we have butter tarts and we have Nanaimo bars. I bought both for when they come. Actually, I didn't buy these ones. Well, okay, what is no, inside of a butter tart anyway? We it's explain. just like brown sugar, raisins, butter. In a tiny little pie crust, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I've, had to, I've made them before. It makes it almost like a caramel sauce in a way. Yeah, like you, they're you good. Boil it until it becomes syrupy, and then it sets. Like it's not. Oh, oh things happen. My mom always makes Yorkshire pudding with gravy. <sighs> we have a lot of English traditions, I think. It smells so good, you guys. I'm not even hungry, but every time I open that lid, mmm. Yeah, that every so often good. I get I get a hankering for uh, this time of year especially. There's certain foods that I think that I I miss. You know, things that my grandma would make. She would make maple fudge every year. I was surprised how many people actually made the, the banana bread. I shared your grandma's banana bread recipe and a lot of people sent me pictures and let me know that they made it. And some people use different fruits and stuff. That's pretty cool. Somebody said for that banana bread, bread recipe that they added cocoa and made it chocolate banana bread. I have yet to try that one. The kids keep eating all my bananas. <laughs> Somebody said, um, you definitely have to wish for your parking spot if you go to West Edmonton Mall. Here's, did you guys not know the secret? Here's the secret. And this works for me 90% of the time. Uh, uh, if you go in assuming that you're going to get the best spot, I almost always get the best spot. I'm not always. Sometimes I'm off in the boonies, but very rarely. Wait, I have to ask, is there like a little blue person with wheels under their bum on these spots that you're parking in? No. Because <laughs> you shouldn't no, park no. in those ones. I, I assume I'm going to get a good spot and then I go to get it. And it's there. It's just waiting for me. Yesterday, Costco was insane. I don't know. I think Costco's everywhere, right? Yeah. Pretty much. So uh, I went to Costco, and I know that it's crazy there. I went to where I always go to park. Spot was open. I <laughs> and like moments later, there was somebody came up. So it was it was like I don't know. I don't really even think it's lucky. I think a lot of times people assume that there's those spots aren't open, so they go right to the the nosebleeds of the parking sections. You know, I don't know if there's any truth to this or not, but I did, I was looking for a parking spot the other day when I was stopping at the bank. Yeah. And I thought, I was looking at the outer area parking spots and I kind of was like, well, this is, I can't find a spot. And I thought, well, I always tell people you should just go for the spot you want. So I drove, I got one, I kid you not, right in front of the door and no, there was no little blue wheelchair yeah. spot on it. It was an actual legitimate parking spot right there. I read that somewhere where if you uh, assume things are going to happen for you, they will. And if you assume they won't, they most definitely won't because 
I don't know, but the parking spot thing, uh, I just assume every time that there's gonna be a spot, and most times it's there, so try it next time. But you really have to believe it's gonna be there. I okay, bet. so we should ask people, what are your holiday favorite foods? Maybe let's go with a dessert. What is your top dessert that you're looking forward to this holiday season? And then uh, you can put it in the comments here and then I'll, we'll, we'll read off some of them and see. Uh, so, somebody said plum pudding. Oh, Matthew's on. I don't know. Hey, have, Matthew. Have, I, have you ever had plum pudding? No, I've never had plum pudding. Pecan you know, pie. So uh, my... It? Pavlova. But, you know. Not baklava. Yeah, but it's the... Is it like baklava? No, it's nothing like it. It's like a big meringue and it has fruit on the top. Do they have it on the top? It's delicious. I know my friend um, Don makes it all the time. It's delicious. Okay, I, from Australia. I, I got to read off some of these. Sherry, uh, Sherry Trifle. My dad used to like mm. Trifle. He used to go, uh, when they were in, in London visiting one time, they got hooked on Trifle. <laughs> so I have, for our email address for this channel, it's archboldvlogs at outlook.com. So a lot of times people will send me recipes, which we have been trying to catch up and try, but on future videos, I'm trying to get to some of them. And hopefully, if you'd like, your video, I mean your video, your recipe could be featured in one of the, the vlogs because I, on one hand, I need some new recipes, you guys. <laughs> and if you've tried them and you know they're delicious, I'm all for that. I'm okay, not... Tina, what is water gator salad? Yeah, you have to that. tell me what water gator salad is. I don't know that one. Who say water gator or water And gate? what's divinity candy? Do we know what that is? No. I know what a Yule log is. I am not a fan of Yule logs. That's like, you may as well just put some fruit in with some sandpaper. Isn't that it like- It says don't, as I don't eat dried fruit. A Yule log is different. It's a sponge cake that you roll up with whipped cream in the middle. Oh. It's like a sponge cake rolled up. What am I thinking of? The, the- Christmas cake? Christmas cake. Like it's a log of dryness that- I mean, if you put log, cream on it or something, it'd be okay. I was completely shocked how expensive Christmas cake is. Like the dried fruit Christmas cake. Cause I wanted the kids to try it. And then only one of them liked it. Yeah. Somebody said it, um, Pavlova is Australian. It's very yeah. hot here, says Alison Ard. And I imagine that's, what does your Santa Claus look like? <laughs> is he, is some guy still having to, you know, put on that outfit and do parades and stuff and, and go to the shopping malls when it's like, you know, plus 40 degrees Celsius out? I feel bad for that. I remember them. the six white boomers. Oh yeah, fruitcake. That's what I don't like. Thank yeah. you. I'm having problems with remembering words today. I think I need to get more sleep or something. Creme brulee, that's Melissa's favorite. Did you guys know? Melissa's favorite dessert is creme brulee. Yeah, In sweet. fact, I bought a blowtorch once just so I could make her creme brulee. Now he uses it to light the... I pretty much use it to light our fire or if I'm lighting up the welding torch or yeah. doing stuff like that. I'll see him going out and he's like, we're gonna have a, we'll roast some marshmallows outside. Yeah. I'll get the st fire started. He's got the logs all in the little burn, the little burn plate thing, whatever that thing's called. The I'm, fire I'm overdue pit. to make you creme brulee, aren't I? Yeah. I will make you creme brulee. Did you, I like to cook, I like to cook. I don't have, I don't cook as often as I'd well, like to. Well, you also but... get home at like 6 p.m. So yeah, I already I'm... have it all taken care of. I think that's probably the main thing. Normally if I, I get off, like the store closes at five and then it takes half hour, 35 minutes or so to get home. So... Sometimes we have some customers that are not done yet. And then plus you might have packages that need to be delivered. So yeah. Yeah. French silk pie. Oh, that's, too... I feel like I've tried that before. Ribbon it's candies. A chocolate dessert, I think. I like a chocolate pie. Halava. Maybe. Halava. Oh, halava is a Jewish dish. Very sweet. We had it from, uh, they had it with the, the baklava, didn't they? Remember? Oh yeah, that? I think it was in with there. Yeah, does it have honey in it? No, not the baklava. The other one, like, it's kind of a more dense, the dense square. Oh, oh I ate it. you ate it. She ate it, not me. I like Potato pancakes, fancy European torte cakes, black walnut cake. You guys are all just thinking of food right now, aren't you? Everybody's thinking about the food. I was halva. surprised how many people after I put on how we do the deviled eggs. How many people said, I made deviled eggs right after? And I thought, all oh, these poor people that have a farty smelling house because of me, just like me. It was... <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah. made uh, pulgaro. People are starving and drooling right now. They're thinking... So they want to know what we're going to be having for our Christmas dinner that we're going to be eating here. Like our dinner dinner? Yeah, like oh, our Oh man, meal, you guys want to hear like the whole list? So there's turkey. There's turkey. We have a white potato called Elsie's potatoes. What's, Sweet potatoes. In, what's the special about Elsie's potatoes? It's extremely fattening and unhealthy. For but you. what's in it though? There's like cream cheese, sour cream, potatoes. And then you mash it. It's kind of like a stuffed potato it's, without being stuffed yeah, back inside like a, the shell. Yeah, it's like a casserole dish. But if you guys are curious, it is from, um, what is 
the one with the asparagus on the outside? The one that I use all the time? Companies Kelly? No. I don't know. Bridges. Bridges Cookbook. It's the Bridges Cookbook. If you put Bridges Cookbook, Elsie's Potatoes, you'll know exactly what goes in it. So, and I really follow the recipe. That's, that's how that works. And I never use light anything. I always use full fat. I'm that person. <laughs> So, uh, sweet potato casserole, but just like mashed sweet potatoes with the brown sugar topping and pecans. Stuffing, of course. Cranberries. Gravy. What else am I missing? Oh, asparagus. Yep. I can't think of everything that I'm making. Ask I better get on that. It's not, it's not like this is coming soon. I should have a, this on a plan. Ask it's a lot of oh, food. Pickles. All we're all going to be rolling around after not able to move. Oh, um. We'll have the turkey sweat. What is it that you like? The cheese? Cottage cheese? Then there's a whole bunch of, oh, like the cheese board and pickled the, beets. Yeah, pickled pickled beets. Pickled beets make an appearance. Abby all likes pickled beets, right, honey? Ask yeah, Grandma like Linda beets. to make the buns. Oh, no, my, I bought buns, so Grandma didn't have to make buns. I didn't want her to have to. My make mom buns. is very good at baking breads and She's good at things. making everything. My mom's a good cook. I'm not just saying that. She's a good cook. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want her to be sitting there cooking all day. I want her just to come and visit. Same with my mom. I told her, do not, I just want them to enjoy it because my mom always hosts. And Linda always hosts. I just want them to finally have like, you know, a Christmas where they can just come and enjoy. So I think they've they've put in their time. <laughs> uh, ooh, pickled wieners. I don't think I've ever had that before. No, for sure I haven't. Uh, peppermint pie sounds good. So what do we drink? So it's funny, almost every like Thanksgiving and Christmas we do this drink where it's cranberry cocktail and ginger ale. So it's like, I put way less ginger ale than supposed to be in there because I'm that mom. <laughs> but... We call it, what do we call it? Just Christmas punch? And then uh, eggnog, of course. And then we're gonna make up some kind of Christmas cocktail this time. Uh, um, Heather's gonna help me with them. Yeah. Heather and Melissa have been conspiring it's true. behind my back and conspiring in front of my back. <laughs> They're just all around conspiring in a 360 everywhere. Every time I look, Melissa's on the phone with Heather. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Nothing. Stuff we're gonna do to you. I'm like, what? <laughs> What? What are you planning? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Heather has how many years to catch up on pesting her brother? If she needs some help. Was she going to get all those years out in one day? Yes. Uh, <laughs> now I'm nervous. We're not going to make it Christmas. Maybe we'll make it every other day. She's here for a whole week. We could do it one thing a week. Hopefully she doesn't start Our pranking me and be like, I'll go pick them up from the airport and she has a big bucket of water. Merry Christmas, splash, and I'm a big icicle for the rest of the day. It's not supposed to be very cold. It's like the week that they're down, we're lucky because there's not supposed to be a lot of snow. It's not supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be very cold. So ho hopefully the highways are really good. I don't, you know, the thing is having an older sister is cool. Finding out you have an older sister really late in life is kind of cool too. Not knowing what they're capable of and getting the sense that they're kind of a pest, terrifying. <laughs> I'm so glad that Alexander ended up having a sister as well because like I have a sister and two brothers and I feel like you have to have one of each at least to, I mean except for I mean if you guys don't but I have a sister and I pest her believe me and she very much pested me too if she's watching this she'd be like yeah yeah she did yeah <laughs> Melissa continues to pest to this day that's her legacy true. Yeah. yeah it's it <laughs> to this day when Alexander yawns I'll poke his tongue. <laughs> you want to know what Alexander doesn't like? That. Doesn't like that at all. What, when I yawn and she sticks her finger in my mouth when I'm yawning? Like this. <sighs> and she does this. When he puts ah, his... Uh, he why? Puts, when, he does yawn, that? when he yawns, he'll be like this. I'll be... Uh, not even like to... No, it's just the elbow right in the forehead. So, I mean... Are you justifying uh, your pesting? No. Yeah. I, <laughs> There's many times when I'm across the room and she senses I'm going to yawn and she will fly across like superwoman and stick that finger in my mouth to suppress me or she'll give me a wet willy when I'm not looking. Or she'll stick her little foot in my face that she thinks smells like roses but does not smell like roses and she'll stick it all up in my face. This woman pests me nonstop. In fact, we went to see a comedian the other day and he said, hey, is anybody here? Has their wife ever given him a hard time? And I was like, ooh, I better. And then I was thinking my survival skills of being a husband kicked in and I uh, kept my hand down. I would have been okay. Really? Yeah. Sure. I was going to be like, she sticks her foot in my face. <laughs> I would like to see what the comedian said about that. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> Melissa puts up with a lot, but it's when he's like super, sometimes. When he's super distracted, like answering emails or something like that, sometimes I'll just pest him a little, you know. Uh, what's the temperature here right now? What, probably minus 14 or something like that? No, do you think it's that cold? Yeah, I think minus so. Minus 5. 
Oh, it's minus five degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit offhand, but like 10 degrees Fahrenheit or something? 12, I think. 10. Maybe somewhere around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We, uh, it's I'm so funny. Like 12. We have the metric system here, but then we talk in feet and inches a lot, even though we're supposed to be going centimeters and yeah. kilometers and all that. It's 23? 23 degrees Fahrenheit here right now. Oh, 24. See, that sounds degrees. so much warmer to me. You know, everybody said that I'm headed for the sofa tonight, but you know what? Lucky for me, I did my upstairs renovation and I happen to have a luxurious large sofa. So in fact, I won't get pested, a finger in my ear, a foot in my face. Oh, there's, you picked a huge sofa. I will just follow you. Oh, she would. <laughs> I can't escape. I cannot escape. She will come, she will track me down. I would be pretty sad if I didn't get to, to sleep with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So guys, uh, I don't know. Do you want to keep talking or you want to cap it off for now? Maybe we'll do five more minutes and then I got to go make supper. I, which, I don't know. Oh no, we're ordering pizza. We're I don't even have to make pizza. I bet make pizza, make yeah. supper. We have a house full of children here right now. Nieces and gone. nephews and our children. It has been such a long, I mean a busy week that I haven't even had a chance to go grocery shopping yet. I got the dog, uh, haircut today. Actually, she was such a good, per, um, group but she's really busy right now too but I'll let you guys know about her if you are in the Edmonton area uh, and I'll go and get Chewy Cut one more time make sure it's consistent but I'm pretty sure it will be but yeah forgot about groceries so pizza it is it's real life <laughs> and then I'll get the get groceries tomorrow are you texting um, answering questions sometimes yeah. Alexander will have people phone the store while he's on a live <laughs> well I have customers that are asking questions um, oh yeah well, thank you very, very much to Carol and to Kathy and to, of course, all of you guys for coming. Thank you. And you know what? I wasn't really catching the comments. I do read the comments. Good, bad, the other. <laughs> I read all of them. So after this live, I will be going back since I wasn't uh, moderating and being able to see everything that you guys were saying. So I will go back and see absolutely everything when I go on after. So. Yeah, thank you guys very much for uh, following along and watching today. Um, there will be a video. Heather, who is watching us now here as a viewer, will become one of us on this end of things very soon with her family and on uh, Tuesday yeah. uh, after the weekend. So I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Oh, incidentally, um, uh, some of you were asking uh, about the storage unit and stuff. It's all cleared out. Um, there is an auction happening today and tomorrow of some more toys and things like that. So if you're in the Edmonton area, um, you could get a Christmas present from there. Um, if you're not from Edmonton, they will ship to you so we wouldn't get it in time for Christmas. That's K-Auctions. K-Auctions.ca. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but it's good, especially if somebody does need a very last minute gift and, well, does, is it, they, would they be able to get it by Christmas? Did you say? Only that? if they're in Edmonton. Oh yeah, if they're in Edmonton. Yeah, right, local shipping pickup. out wouldn't. So local, you could have it by Christmas, but then after, for yeah. those of you getting together after. <laughs> yep. So thanks so much for watching guys. Thank you guys very much. And we will most definitely be on again before Christmas. But thank you all so very much for joining it with us, checking out our goodies, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.